So first things first, this is a theater mode recording, so I have to apologize for any of the weirdness that it looks like, because we all know, theater mode fucking sucks in Black Ops 2. Anyways, I'm also going to get out, get out here with a nice big warning. This may offend a lot of people. This is a rant, a social insight, a what the fuck is wrong with people video. I watched recently a video over on Vice. If you don't watch Vice, you guys are missing out on true journalism, real journalism, uncut journalism. So the link to Vice's channel will be in the description. And you guys should check this shit out. They have anything, everything from smuggling into North Korea, smuggling themselves into North Korea to hanging out with convicted drug dealers from Colombia. Like, underground shit. These people go all the way for their media and for what they, for their journalism. It, it's outstanding. Now let's kick this off. The specific topic I want to talk about is a video they did called the KKK versus the Crips versus the Memphis City Council. Now, this all partakes about uh, the Memphis City Council wanted to change the name of a statue. And the statue is named after a Confederate general who was also one of the founding members of the KKK. So, City Council and other members of the society basically want the park changed to something different because of this man's history. Now you get patriotic Americans, and now I say Americans loosely because these are more patriotic Southerners. And I don't want to, you know, insult the heritage of the South. I love the South. I think the South is, it's reminiscent of where I come from in Canada. It's family, it's tight-knit, you know, it's traditional, and I, I love that shit, but you, you gotta, the Confederacy was wrong, I hate to say that, it, it was wrong, the Confederacy was wrong, you know, the, it was just, you know, it, they were fighting for the wrong reasons, and yes, they had some valid points for you know, wanting to fight the North. And that's understandable. And I can see how some of their generals should be, you know, recognized as war heroes and, you know, maybe great, great Americans. You know, I, I, I use quotations on that. But this guy was a founding member of the KKK. He was a hate monger. He was a strategic genius, but he was a hate monger. And basically what happens is the KKK goes to Memphis to protest the name changing of the park because this man was an American hero, as they were saying it. But when you watch the documentary and you hear the KKK's arguments, there's nothing about patriotism or Americanism in their arguments. They are bitching because black people want them to not or want them to change the name. They are saying that it is because of the blacks and it is against white rights. Now, what are white rights? That is another thing that fucking blows my mind there's no such thing as white rights we we lost the right to have white rights by our way of conquering the world our approach at you know bringing the caucasian society and caucasian people to the world we did it by conquering and we did it by war and we did it by slavery so white rights you can't say that there's civil rights we all have civil rights but specifying white, uh, rights as a race or with a race is beyond me. This is this shouldn't exist, and everybody should just remember that it's civil rights. Human rights is a better way of putting it. We are all humans, so we should all have certain rights. And these guys even disgusted people so much that a member of the Crips in Memphis was trying to get all the inner city gangs together to protest this. Yes, a dude from the Crips was trying to get like West End Bloods and all this shit, all these other gangs in Memphis together to anti-protest the KKK. Like, you're there being protesting the name changing of a park, but you show up in white cloaks and you show up in, 
you know, masks and burning crosses. And you say that you're Christian and you're for human rights, but you're not. And you're not even willing to show your face. Me, personally, I ain't got time for that. That's not the way the world should work. That is not the way anything else should work. Now, the only problem is, is that the black dudes and the gangs didn't show up because of the rain. So, you know, I give a little props to the KKK for showing up in the rain when the uh, gangs kind of, you know, they, they kind of pussied out. I'm sorry, but they did. And that was his reasoning. Well, I ain't going to show up because it's raining. <laughs> so, you know, I I understand what he was trying to do, but, you know, if you didn't have the balls to do it. You really shouldn't have even attempt it. Well, damn it. I'm running out of time here. Fuck. Um, ah, this turned into just a overall rant. I don't know. If you guys want me to hit more on the subject, I will. Leave it in the comments. Leave your comments on what I've said so far. And fuck, I don't know. Just let's chat. This is Faded Line. Signing off.